hello everyone welcome to 10 in 18 you know series life career and business optimization lesson length and still learning in 18 years i'm going to build the lessons i'll be sharing about my around my favorite letter you know which is the letter p you know i'm going to build the 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 the, the lessons i'll be sharing ar around that so i've selected 10 p's you know that i believe that you know uh, you know encapsulate the lessons i've learned and some of the things i would like to share you know with our community and my colleagues you know our clients uh, you know basically what what about what i've learned in the last and i'm still learning over the last 18 years so these are the p's the first p is psychology you know i'll go into different explanation of each of the p's the second p is philosophy you know the third p is pursuit fourth is productivity the fifth one is practice sixth is preparation you know i have a deep deep connection with preparation seven is performance you know i'm very very performance oriented you know yeah i am a bit you know to the extreme on performance people you know very very crucial places you know and what i like to term progress okay so the 10 p's you know these 10 p's are you know i've just used them as a framework you know to really really share deeply some of the biggest biggest most powerful lessons like i said inside bending perception expanding life changing lessons i've learned in the last 18 years so let's dive in the next lesson is preparation which is very close to practice see and one of the one of the most important lessons i learned is the importance of knowing yourself okay know thyself is very important when you know yourself you'll be able to play to your strengths i have always known that I'm not intelligent enough to do anything without adequate preparation. Honestly, I have colleagues that have seen that they can wake up and then show up and deliver. I i am not that. So I go out of my way to prepare. In fact, my preparation is scary. You know, for people that are close to me, they say, this guy, really? I say, yeah, that's how I know how to win. I just prepare, okay? And I like this. And can you see why I love peace now? all this whatever is peace proud preparation prevents poor performance and predicts proper performance okay all peace you know so that's why i just said that you know i'm in love with peace and it is true if you want to prevent poor performance and predict proper performance you practice here is something a coach told me he said if you don't think you're going to lose you don't prepare well enough to win that's so good i need to repeat it if you don't think you're going to lose you don't prepare well enough to win so don't just prepare to win prepare in such a way that you can't possibly lose all things being equal don't leave things to chance professionals don't leave things to chance that's one of the attributes of professionals they don't leave things to chance okay don't leave things to chance. as they say in dubai believe in hala but tie up your camel okay you're good at it no problem but prepare in such a way that you can't lose okay you know because if you don't you increase your probability of losing now and if it is a high stake you know that's a challenge okay so that is the lesson on preparation the next lesson